first of all, they asked me, am I the director of the video? Do I have a videographer that puts together the script? Um, and my answer is that at the beginning we did, but since then we've developed a really nice rapport on how we walk through the house, how we, out, uh, how we point out the most important elements, um, and how we tell the story. So we started with the script. I think it's important at the beginning to get your feet under you, uh, but you're gonna quickly find that you don't need a script um, and you're gonna find your natural way through the home. That said, um, don't become the star of the video. I, I, th I think it's very important to have a body, somebody walking through the home, telling the story, bringing the house to life, um, but not becoming the star. So many people these days, frankly, I think it's kind of a narcissistic world that we live in, want to become the stars of everything. And if the house plays second fiddle, um, you're not doing it um, or your seller's justice. So add some pop, add some life, definitely walk through the house, uh, but don't become the star of the video. Um, then the other question they asked me, how is important is it that I have text on the screen um, to point out the features of the home? I think it's somewhat important. What I'd like to put as text are things that's less interesting and I don't wanna waste the client's time to have to hear me speak because it's much faster for them to read 2,450 square feet, three bed, three bath in the corner of the screen than for me to repeat that and say that. Um, people wanna to get to the heart of the home. They're watching a video to get the feel, um, to get an understanding of things they can't do reading it. So. The text is for lower level stuff, um, maybe an address, maybe a, a bedroom, bathroom, square footage, and a few attributes, um, but keep it limited to those items. Don't overload it with text. Um, and then as far as what equipment we use, my videographer has a very nice setup. Um, he has a digital SLR on a gimbal that he walks around with. Um, I know there's a lot of people doing iPhone these, these days. Um, I don't think it does justice, although that technology is coming out quick. The number one important thing is not to do what I'm doing here using a microphone that, do, that allows echo. This sounds horrible. Um, and all my home videos, I've got a clip on mic with a foam cover and a remote pack going back to the digital SLR. So um, it's funny that HDR is so high quality these days, you can do it with a lot of things. One, avoid the shake. Uh, you might be able to do it with some handheld gimbals. Um, and two, get good sound quality, unlike this video.